After carrying out a clean RX install on my Onyx 2, I now have IO Quake 3 up and running on this machine. The version of IRX that I now currently have installed is 6.5.30. I'm currently running the screen resolution at 1280 by 1024. I do have a VFO to run the screen at 1920 by 1080 but the frequency is 72 Hz and this screen syncs to 60 Hz so I'm a little bit worried about setting the resolution to this setting right now because I don't currently have a serial cable available to me to reset the graphics via serial console should I need to. I'm now going to start the game. Okay, I don't have any sound set on the system currently, so therefore it will be a silent demo. Okay, I'm just going to show you the graphics options. Okay, the custom graphics settings, that's because I set the texture filter to trilinear. So you've got texture quality of 32 bits, the highest texture detail, high geometric detail, lighting is light map, set to full screen, the color depth is 32 bits, and 1280 by 1024 is the current resolution. Okay, GL extensions are on and the GL driver is the default driver. Okay, so let's see how she runs. And as you can see from the frame rate, the performance that I'm getting here is very similar to that that I got on my Tezra. Maybe a little bit better. So it'll be very interesting to see once I get the machine running at the correct resolution as to how this game performs. But I'd say it performs pretty well. Okay, two more to go. So I'd say all in all, you're getting pretty decent performance out of this machine. And there we go. That's IO Quake 3 running on the Onyx 2. Okay, thanks for watching.